Welcome to the accounting class. In this section we take our first look at accruals. It's all a matter of time. When is revenue earned? When are expenses incurred? Understand the answers to these questions is very important in accounting. A business sells goods on credit for $50,000 in December 2006 and receives a check in January 2007. When has the revenue been earned? In 2006 or in 2007? A business has used electricity that cost $4,000 in December 2006. The invoice is received in January 2007 and the cheque is sent out later on in January 2007. When was the expense incurred? In 2006 or in 2007? To record the cash received in January 2007 and the cheque payment in January 2007 would be to use a cash accounting system. This is not in fact what most businesses do. Most companies will record revenue in the period in which it is earned. This is known as the revenue recognition principle. So the business would record the revenue of $50,000 in December 2006. The second principle states that expenses follow revenues. Put another way, we treat recording of expenses in the same way as we treated the recording of revenue. So the electricity expense of $4,000 is recorded in December 2006. The idea that expenses follow revenues is known as the matching principle. Remember that? The matching principle. The matching principle of revenue and expense recognition is a generally accepted accounting principle, both in the United States and in most other countries. Recording in this way is known as accrual-based accounting, and that is what most companies do. Here is a typical situation. MT Products make a credit sale for $9,000 to Jimmy Crack Corn on October the 3rd, 2006. MT Products make a cash sale of $6,000 to I Am Rich on October the 3rd, 2006. These transactions have to be entered as double entries to the accounting system. The credit sale is entered as a debit of $9,000 to accounts receivable and a credit of $9,000 to sales. The cash sale is entered as a debit of $6,000 to cash and a credit of $6,000 to sales. So both sales have been recorded as revenue earned. This is accrual-based accounting. MT Products purchases gasoline on credit from Paper Point for $500 on October the 3rd, 2006. MT Products purchases a tyre from Bullseye for $100, paying cash on October the 3rd, 2006. The transactions are entered as double entries to the accounting system. The credit purchase is entered as a debit to vehicle costs for $500, and a credit to accounts payable of $500. The cash purchase is entered as a debit to vehicle costs for $100 and a credit to the cash account of $100. So both expenses have been recorded in the period in which they incurred. These examples have shown the matching principle. This ends our first session on accruals. Thank you for listening and watching.